Right, just looking under uh, Elmer's vehicle, it's had a new drop link on the rear suspension, passenger side, and the rattle that she was complaining about, obviously we've done that work on there, that's new, and that's the old one, you can blatantly see the difference, rear subframes, Suspension, wishbones. The problem is where the exhaust mounts are and the back box is, is the heat shield. And what I, the problem is, is it's rotted away from the, the mounts. It's rotten. It's all rotted. It's, it's just flapping about doing that. This is completely rotted. That mountain's broke out because it's rotted away. It, it is quite easily repairable. Right. With the amount of money that I just paid, it's ridiculous. Now, I'm a mechanic, builder, ex army, the lot. Human and social biologist, microbiologist. Virologist, archaeologist, geologist, lot. I do everything. PhD, the lot. Now, this is the heat shield for the boot four pan to protect from the back box. Now, it can either be a new one replaced. I mean, exhaust is looking a bit scabby here, a lot scabby into the back box. Mounts is very, very corroded, and um, as a simple fix, if we wanted to budget, my suggestion would be is to replace all bolts which look knackered, completely rotten. So that's going to be quite of a job. I mean, th this is starting to. And the chassis here is getting a bit scabby. Could do with some shuts here, innit? it? Clean up with your soft disc and that, you know. Maybe a bit of welding may be required. These may have to be burnt out, warmed up with oxycetylene. So that's why I do, because I've got MIG welder, TIG welder, oxycetylene, paint move, the lot. We do a proper job, not bad jobs, proper jobs. Now, she was on about this warranty thing. I'm going to look into that, but as a, an easy scapegoat for you, I suggest you either completely replace it, because look, it's annoying, it's driving her mad. And then look at the bolt, there, look, look at that. Yeah. Oh, bolts here. It's just, it's like a trampoline, what kids play on. Take these out, new bolts, copper slick. If you've ever heard of copper slick, it works wonders. Now you can put new bolts in, a rubber flange to stop vibration in between a larger washer. Yeah, and that would be a temporary fix on all mountings. That one's rotten. They're all rotten, it's rotten. You've not done the job properly. You should be ashamed. So that's just that little bit. It looks like you've put a new battery on. I don't know. She says she's got a receipt for timing belt. I'm going to inspect the timing belt. So I know about timing belts. So we're going to the front end. That was the rear of the car. What gave it away was an exhaust pipe coming out of the back. Now, you've took, which is, it's not going to hurt it so much. It's easier to get to. But the under floor shield, from here to the front subframe, has been removed. But it, it's been ripped off rather bodgily. And uh, let's get this in view for you. 
it, it bro it's broke. It's broken. It's flapping about. It's driving her mad. And she's paid good money that she's earned and worked hard for to buy a, a vehicle that she's really, really proud of. And uh, and, and it's disheartening. So I'm going to point these facts out now. It, this, it's one of two options. Replace the lot or I have would plastic weld it. If you haven't got a plastic welder, a simple solution is a bloody soldering iron. It's not rocket science. Look, it flapping about. It flaps about more than a bride's nighty. It goes up and down more than a bride's nighty. Look at it. Look. I see this. Look. It's up and down more than a bride's nighty. That is not too severe, but that's easy repairable. Again, plastic well, use a soldering iron. Easy peasy. And uh, I can tell whether you've had, when I jack it up, I'll be able to tell if you've dropped oil. I'm going to look. All right, let's have a look at the belt. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's quite warm. That's not new. Aircon. Is there any gas in air conditioning? Start the motor. Right. So that's the starter motor. It is. It's not dropping oil, but the sump plug. I assume. Oh, it's not going to jacked up. There's some, some plugs here. Don't know why that's been out. So it's not had an oil change. It's not had that belt change. There's that filter. Yeah, if that's... Oh, I'm going to have to... Get a bonnet up, I'm going to have to have a look at timing belt and that. Because I don't... Oh, I hope you haven't just said, oh, we've done a timing belt. And here's your receipt for it, because I know garages do that. Oh, well, we've done this and we've done that. Bit of trim hanging off here. Look at that. Bit of trim hanging off. Look, cracking bumper, easy repair. When, you, when you're professional, you know what you're doing. You've had a pants down, haven't you? Look, look at that. Look at that. What's that? What's all that about? Yeah. What's all this about? Yeah. Is it a push button? Yeah. Yeah. That's an LED, why is that one there? And that one's there. Has it fell out? Because she's having problems with lights, it's flattened battery a couple of times and they keep coming on. So, <clears throat> I think there's a. I'm going to have to have a look at timing belt. So, for that for now, I'm going to leave it at that. And uh, I'm going to pop bonnet and we're going to have a look at timing belt. <laughs> 